Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, I was talking about various aspects of big farming. Uh, so, in all those aspects, uh, if you see, uh, except in the first aspect where we are going to deploy more number of antenna, uh, if you see the second aspect in beam steering or reducing the silo level and things like that, we need to have one particular operation to the signal. That is, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, I would say something like this, right? something like this so basically what i would say is uh, you know if we have the signal a x of t to that uh, we have to perform an operation or we have to multiply with uh, what is known as let's say w it's a matrix or a vector so this w is nothing but uh, the beam forming weights okay so the moment we do that, uh, we are we can say that we are performing some kind of uh, uh, beam forming. So let's say this is a, just a vector, um, so which is w bar into x of t. This w bar, uh, as I was telling, let's let, let's go back to the uh, second scenario where this is a beam steering concept. So I was mentioning that uh, um, you know, we need to use phase shifters, right? So let's say we have. Uh, um, many and many antennas and many phase shifters so we can say this w bar could be uh, you know little the power of j51 little power of j52 and up to little power of j5n this this could be the uh, you know beamforming weight for this and this will be multiplied with x of t and uh, and each of these will be you know transmitted to the uh, transmitted uh, across uh, the corresponding antennas so this will form a particular kind of uh, uh, beam in the required direction so this we will remember because uh, this is very important for uh, uh, now uh, in this video mainly i want to talk about uh, um, the beam forming using vectors okay so so what i will do i will take a uh, MIMO scenario okay uh, just to plus two to to uh, make sure that the concept uh, can be explained in a simpler way okay in two plus two let's say I have got uh, the transmitter uh, so just two antennas and uh, let's say receiver also I have got two antennas now this is channel H right this is channel H so here uh, if I want to write uh, the system model, how can I write? This is 2 cross 1 is equal to uh, hx bar plus n bar. So this is 2 cross 2. So let, let's say I am transmitting x1 here and x2 here. Okay. So this x bar, x bar will be, you know, x1 and x2 vector, which is 2 cross 1. Now, this one I want to uh, I want to write it in a different way that is I mean I want to just uh, um, expand it so I can write it like this so still further how I can write here is h11 h21 okay into x1 plus h12 h22 uh, into x2 if you clearly see uh, if, if you clearly see, you know, the first column is here and that will be multiplied by x1 and the second column is here and that is multiplied by x2. So, uh, so we need to see the geometric interpretation of this. Um, so, since it is just a 2 plus 2, uh, this is the 2D plane. Okay, in the 2D plane, uh, this um, first column, I would, I would say h1 bar. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, h1 bar this is h2 bar second column so first column represents some direction uh, in the 2d plane and, and and similarly you know the h2 bar also represents some direction in the 2d plane and uh, with this what what we can say is that the signal x1 okay the signal x1 was is traveling in the direction of this first column of the matrix h similarly h2 so basically this means that x1 is transmitted along this direction x2 is transmitted along this direction in another way what we can say is the beam is formed in the direction of h1 first column of uh, uh, first column of channel matrix h which is h1 bar 
similarly the another beam is formed in the direction of h2 bar okay so this kind of beam is formed because of the channel conditions okay uh, basically this is a channel right this is a channel h so here because of uh, various parameters uh, various phenomena like uh, scattering reflection diffraction and and uh, presence of various buildings uh, because of multipath all those things attenuation everything uh, it has uh, um, it has uh, brought to to an environment where the signal is signal in the 2d plane is traveling in the in this way okay so th that is exactly what it means but it is very difficult to visualize uh, uh, and and see the signal uh, how that is uh, traveling over the air because uh, because in the channel over the air the signal is just transmitted everywhere okay i hope you got the clarity like uh, this is similar to saying that you know actually the beam beam forming is happening uh, uh, along the vectors h1 bar and h2 bar now what do we do here based on my initial explanation if you clearly see at the transmitter okay to this x bar which is equal to x1 x2 vector we are not multiplying with any beam forming weight okay so here basically we are not doing any beam forming since this beam beam forming weight is done at the tx side um, we can say it as uh, transmit beam forming since this beam forming weight is just identity or one uh, there is no transmit beam forming but the beam forming has as occurred because of the channel environment okay now we need to understand that channel environment and we should see the signal in the right direction so that we get back whatever we transmitted so what does that mean it means that uh, to see uh, you know how the signal has been transmitted over the um, over the air uh, what do we do we do channel estimation so we get this h right so we get h and we will come to know what is h1 bar and what is h2 bar first column of h we will get to know first second column of h2 we will get to know and by that way we will get to know uh, how the signal i mean in which direction the signal has been transmitted right so then we try to equalize or equalize i mean in in, in our earlier case we used to perform equalization i mean let's say zero forcing equalization or something like that we used to equalize the channel channel effect and we used to get it but now we will talk in terms of um beam forming the, because that is also uh, in a way uh, we are performing the beam forming so we had this model right y is equal to uh, hx bar plus n bar now if i say you know i am going to multiply with uh, um, multiply with uh, uh, let's say just first first i will take a vector w bar um, i will take w bar armesian into y bar okay so i am going to multiply with some kind of beam forming weights at the receiver so rx beam forming weights so this is called as receive beam forming okay i will do some kind of beam forming to the uh, to the uh, received signal uh, so that my intention now is to just get uh, uh, x1 okay x1 so for, for that what i will do i will just take uh, an example of uh, channel matrix h that is 1 1 1 minus 1 let's say the channel matrix looks like this okay so definitely the x1 is transmitted along this column x2 is transmitted along this column now what do i need i need uh, uh, you know x1 right so what should be my uh, receive beam forming weight so as per this okay let's say as per this uh, if i try to draw this 1 1 okay 1 1 will be here 1 comma 1 this is the direction so along this x1 is transmitted 1 minus 1 will be something like this uh, so let's say this is uh, 1 um, sorry 1 uh, minus 1 so this along, along this direction x2 is transmitted if you see this the angle between these two is 90 degree so definitely that's why you know this the, the column the columns of h okay the columns of uh, uh, h these two are orthogonal to each other so now since these two are orthogonal to each other if i just want x1 okay intuitively what what is the answer like you just see in the same direction okay actually in this case uh, uh, as per this matrix example 
it is equivalent to saying that we, we need to see in the same direction so that um, we get x1 but we, we will not get any uh, any information related to x2 okay because uh, these two are orthogonal right so similarly so what do we need to do this w bar omission okay w bar will be just one one since we need to look into the same direction you apply the receive beam weight also in the same direction now if i perform this to this one so what do i get so one one into y bar y1 y2 okay i'm, I'm writing from here then if I do, uh, I will get uh, this h, right? So this is 1, 1. What is h? 1, 1, 1 minus 1 uh, into x1, x2. Noise I will not consider for now. So if you multiply this, what do, what do I get? You will get, um, you know, 2 into x1 plus 0. There is no component of x2. You, you got back your x1. So maybe you can use a normalization factor to get uh, x1 exactly. Okay, I hope you got uh, uh, the concept. So by this way, uh, what I can say, we have done the receive beam forming here uh, to get back this X1. We saw the uh, signal in the same direction along which uh, the X1 was transmitted and we were able to record because both uh, the columns of H1 and uh, H2 bar are orthogonal to each other. Similarly, if you want, uh, you know, X2, you observe in this direction so that you will not have any component in the X1. So you will be able to recover back to your X2, okay. But uh, um, now let us say the channel matrix H is equal to, uh, you know, 1, 1 and uh, 5, 5. What does this mean? This means is that this is just 1, 1, okay? So 1, 1, uh, your signal is in this direction, X1, okay? Now 5, 5 means um, somewhere here, this is uh, 5, comma 5. Again, you're trying to transmit uh, uh, even the other symbol also in the same direction. Okay, let's say my x bar is equal to x1, x2. Okay, so even you are trying to transmit this uh, x2 along the same direction, then both x1 and x2 are getting interfering interference, right? Both of them are interfering with each other. In this case, since there is only one direction to transmit, you can uh, you can actually uh, transmit only one symbol. That is when we say when we find that there is only one direction. Uh, in this case, the rank of the channel is just 1 because the column of first column of H and first second column of H are dependent or they can say we can say they are parallel vectors. So we have only one direction. So hence rank is 1 and hence we can transmit only one symbol. So even across the uh, second antenna as well, we need to transmit only, uh, we can transmit the same symbol X1. Even if you try to transmit X2, at the receiver side, we will not be in a position to recover, uh, and hence, uh, uh, and 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 then it is of no use to transmit like that. So this is also uh, clear. I think uh, with respect to my mode, with respect to this channel edge, uh, you got the clarity. I think. But so with this, I will stop it here. Uh, in the next video, maybe. What I will do, I will take an example of this uh, edge, uh, uh, and I will I will try to explain you know how with edge inverse uh, uh, we we can perform the receive beam forming. Thank you very much. Please do subscribe. I will get a bye.